What's up guys? Happy Saturday. I'm Govna and I'm going to be playing some more Hades today. Looks like today fate has chosen the Twin Fists of Malthon for me. So I'm going with the Aspect of Talos, which is my personal favorite. Got that magnetic cutter. And my next, uh, my next bounties for this weapon are actually non-existent. I don't have any bounties left to earn. Um, I've, I've gotten the max at Heat 21. And I'm not going to go for a new personal best in terms of heat on this run. Uh, I, but instead, I decided to make it a 10 heat run strictly through turning extreme measures all the way up to give me a chance to get acquainted with the extreme measures Hades boss fight and uh, see if I can overcome that on a 10 heat run before I incorporate it into a 32 heat run, which is currently my biggest goal for the game. Said our already, pal. Um, so I've got Zeus's uh, keepsake. Figure a Zeus build will be fun. Switched this over to Shadow Presence for the Mirror of Night. Keeping Dark Regeneration, Death Defiance, Greater Reflex, Boiling Blood, Infernal Soul, Golden Touch, Thick Skin, and then I switched uh, the. Um, I, I, the name escapes me right now, but I have privilege status back on, which I didn't have on my run yesterday. We got Olympian Favor, God's Legacy, and Faded Persuasion. So, let's jump right into it. Darkness, give me strength. Just what I wanted. Okay, Zeus, give me give me a Zeus attack. See. Okay, I like it, but I think I can get a better rarity. Fuck, dude. <laughs> that sucks. That actually really sucks. Let's spend two more rerolls, I guess. There we go. We got a rare one, at least. Oh, yeah, that chain lightning is satisfying right off the rip. I hear a fishy, though. There's a little fishy over here. I bet you it's a skill of Scion because I only catch the most legendary of fish. God damn it! <laughs> oh well. Let's go, Swagrius. Ringers is what these guys are called. Okay. little nectar and then we are going for the daedalus hammer which my personal favorite daedalus hammer upgrade for the uh, twin fists is breaching cross because it gives such a massive buff to the damage i deal towards enemies with armor unfortunately it's not offering that as an option for me um so let's go with heavy knuckle and then we're going in the Chaos Gate, nice and early in the run. It's always better to take a Chaos Gate early in a run rather than late, in my opinion. Now, which downside am I willing to put up with for its corresponding reward? Um, yeah, we'll get rarer boons in exchange for having a bit of a shorter dash for the time being. That's alright. I can live with that. Oh shit. The ringer got me. I used my magnetic cutter and he, he fucking got me. Like, dude, I brought you over here as a favor. You couldn't, like, do me a solid back and not immediately tie me up? Who else? On my authority. Okay, got a little bit of healing in the form of darkness, and we are going for a key in the next room. The amount of times that I get keys or nectar or darkness when I want another boon or a palm of power or a daedalus hammer is far too high in my opinion. Um, let's go for the palm of power make father mad. because on this run I'm not trying to stack the absolute most variety of different gods on my boons and I don't particularly want Aphrodite. Ah, 
And I don't have tight deadline on, so I don't need to worry about killing these guys quick. I just need to worry about being careful. If you don't know, in these Erebus gates, I am not allowed to take any damage if I want the chamber reward. Beautiful! I got the palm of power. If I had gotten hit, all I would have gotten is a little onion that heals 1 HP. Uh, I don't have enough money to make the Well of Charon worth it, so let's go for the max health increase. Because I also have pretty low health at the moment, and there's still a chance that I'll find some gold. Even without having that be the, the chamber reward. Welcome. Oh yeah, that chain lightning is doing real nicely for me already. I'm hoping I can get a nice broken build. Um, ooh, Dionysus or Poseidon. Let's go with... Let's actually go with Poseidon. I was thinking that a hangover dash could be fun, but... I'm feeling a Poseidon and Zeus combo today. asshole. Nice try, buddy. He took out some of my health, but it's whatever. Uh, and yeah, we're going for Tidal Dash. That is the go-to Poseidon boon. For me, anyway. Although it's not as good as Athena's dash. Always gotta give a gift to Boldy. Let's be sure to do this again sometime, Boldy. Is my best friend in all the underworld. How goes it, Prince? It's going pretty good, Sisyphus. Thank you for the darkness and therefore the healing. Good luck. And would you look at that? We got some darkness for our next room award as well. <laughs> Love it. Get rid of this skull map before it pumps out a bunch more numb skulls for me to deal with. Beautiful! Uh, I don't need the trove. I got full health, so... Let's head into the next chamber where an Athena boon will be our reward. Oh. Something to resist trap damage would be a good boon from Athena. Although, her cast could also be pretty good. But to be honest, I would prefer something passive from her, so I can keep my more active boons on uh, Zeus and Poseidon, if possible. I'm pleased to see your uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do Athena's aid, actually. Athena's call, that's a good middle ground between being a passive or active item. It's quite literally an active item, but it doesn't take up a, a slot that I'm hoping to fill with Zeus or Poseidon. Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna go with Thunder Flourish. Because it is epic tier. But I'm hoping I can get that uh, additional lightning bounce boon at some point in the near future. Oh shit. That's okay. Imagine using my call when I only have one bar out of it filled. If I, need, if I have all four filled, then yeah, fuck yeah, I'll go for it. Beat this boss fight well before that happens, so. Oh shit! Okay, okay. Gotta watch out for Megara's. Um, or wait, no. Is that Meg? I think it's Meg who does those little circles that were chasing me. A 
Collecto and the rest of the Furies are officially dealt with. Where the others go? Five minutes, eleven seconds spent in Tartarus. Not exactly That's a speed fun. run, but not horrible. Collecto failed. Could have pulled it off even with tier two tight deadline with that run I just had. Um, so this is exhausted. I won't be getting another zoo spoon as a direct result of this keepsake. So let's switch it over to the Poseidon keepsake. Next since that one hasn't been used yet. Asphodel likes to give me coins as a first reward, or like Hermes, rather than whatever boon I actually want, so let's take a look. Oh! A Palm of Power, similarly neutral to the other things I described, but much better than the things I described. I'm up with my bloodstone, baby. Heavy knuckle ain't great. I preferred my old combo. Upgrade my title dash and hit up this nice little fishing hole for some relaxation before I move on. Uh, and I have a feeling that we are gonna catch a flame eater here. No, just a fucking slabug. It's fine. It's fine! Health increase or Poseidon? We are going for Pussy Boy, Poseidon. damage for slamming foes into barriers and again I only I, I'm short on coins so I'm gonna pass on the well of Charon you want to die again Oop. where are they at there they are Close one. Gotta remember to dash at the right moment after they die because I don't want to get hit by their revenge bombs they toss as a little going away present. Oh, been doing a pretty decent job of avoiding the lava, but I got hit by it a few times there. You had it coming. Okay, all right. Uh, we're gonna go for the duo boon because two boons is better than one. Gonna start with Zeus because that's my boy this run. Um, I got some epic options here. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do the chain lightning. For my cast. Okay, Athena is actually pretty annoying for these uh, these dual rooms, duo rooms, whatever you want to call them. But she will turn one of these enemies completely invincible temporarily. Okay, I took damage from the bomb, but that's all right. Just a little. Not yet. Oh good, that one jumped right out of the way of the invincibility aura that was gonna surround it. 
Okay, Athena, do you have something ideal for me? Something that I enjoy? 75% reduced damage from traps. Let's go. And then we'll restore 10% health when we enter a chamber. Uh, and let's go, let's go see what Hermes is up to. I'd love it if he offered me another dash. Oh, yes. Looks like I got here just in Aww. time. Look who it is. Good, I'm not too late. Got here as quickly as I could. Thanks, Than. Scared I'll take more of them. Cutie pie. When I first started playing this game, I was like, what is the point of Thanatos? I beat him every time. Like, is it just their way of giving me an extra health increase per run? But the higher the heat gets, the more necessary Than becomes. Maybe not necessary, but helpful at least. Took a decent bit of damage, but at least I beat Than. Okay, let's do, uh, let's, let's refresh the options. You held your own, I guess. Ah. Ah. God Gauge charges up automatically, fine. Um, and I love me a Eurydice room. The Chaos Gate was slightly tempting, but I'm getting close to the Bone Hydra, and Eurydice is too good to pass up. We sing and sing. I love that palm porridge, baby. Four random palms of power. That's the shit. Oh yeah, look at those. And then we're heading to the Well of Charon next, immediately after the Eurydice chamber. I'm gonna buy a palm of power, and we're gonna level up our tidal dash. And here is our boy Lerny. Fucking cutie pie, this one. Look at him. Oh shoot. I was like following right along with those projectiles that Lerny shot. All right, Lerny, come on, drop the shield, buddy. Let's get intimate. You are untouchable for now. All right, bring them up. Come on, come on, quick. Bring them bitches up. Yes. Look at the way they melt before me. All right, just one third of that fucker's health bar to go. Come on, Lerny. Gotta get your heads in the game. Oh shit. <laughs> I say that and then I have to defy death in order to keep going. Shouldn't have talked so much trash. I'm sorry, Lerny. Lerny vanquished. We are about halfway through the run now. Like I said, I've never beaten Extreme Measures Hades before. Beaten every other boss with Extreme Measures, but not Hades himself. Okay, um... Let's go for... Yeah, well, let's just take a quick 150 coins for the vibes. Replenish our death defiance with it. And 
now we are knock knock knocking on Elysium's door. Damn it, I hate when they don't give me a Daedalus hammer to start this region off. Take care of these exalted spirits before they can find a new body to inhabit. That's better. There's my Daedalus hammer. They must have heard me complaining. They were like, oh man, sorry Gov, I didn't even we didn't even do that intentionally. Totally by chance. Bows. We got a uh, great shield. Okay, got both the spirits out of the bodies, and beautiful, we finished them off. Now I still don't have the the breaching cross that I would like, but I'll take the explosive upper. not going to spend any of my money on that stuff. We're going to go for the Palm of Power so that I can save up a little bit more coin before I uh, meet up with Charon again. Do my best to stay away from their projectiles, especially because they split upon impact. Room's a little bigger than I thought it was. My reward. Hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll improve my electric shot, and then we're gonna go for the palm of power again. Careful, I'm starting to lose health again. You pay more attention to what the enemies are doing. Come on. Oh, little bastard. Armor saved him. I've got headphones on right now listening to the game, and I always wonder how loud my button mashing is when I play shit like this. Let's go for the coin so that we can avoid a mini boss room and also a boon that does not go with the build I'm searching for. Stone before it makes the my other enemies invincible. One more wave. for my troubles and then another palm of power we are getting palmed the fuck up I'm empty. okay 
need to be careful with these little guys. These flame wheels like to explode. That is a good way to deal with them though. The chain lightning, that's my jam. Dash damage. Another one! Dude. Ah. Knocked over my water bottle. Don't mind the background noise. Oh, close one. I almost ran right into one of those projectiles from behind. Okay, let's tighten up this performance a little bit. It's starting to get low on health. Light poles. Um, yeah. And then we got a Patroclus room. Patroclus is the best. What is up, cuties? Looking good. Typically, I would pick Kiss of Sticks if I needed Death Defiance. Uh, my next choice would be Cyclops Jerky for the hefty additional damage. But we're going to go with Hydrolite Gold because I am at pretty low health. And I could use a little bit of healing on each chamber. we got a Well of Charon right after, which I think means immediately next is the boss fight. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be fighting Theseus and Asterius. Extreme measures. Let's make the healing effects more potent and restore all my health now. And then let's go take on the heroes of Elysium. Care for a rematch? You are beneath the notice of the gods, monster. Now these guys are no pushovers. I'm empty. Oh fuck! Dude, I'm trying to get him to crash into this thing. <laughs> oh my god. Crazy, bro. Oh, here's my bloodstones. Again, I need to remember that I don't have tight deadline on. So I can go as slow as I want to. Close to it. Oh, hello. Get rid of that chariot, Theseus. Ah, oh, shoot. There we go. Chariot gone. The man has no more machine guns, but now he's calling upon one of the gods at the exact moment as we send Theseus into phase two as well. Oh, jeez. He got that move from Hades himself. Alright, let's try to take out Theseus while I have my uh, Athena call going. Yes! Now it's just me and Asterius. 
Old man. I thought he said old man at first. I was like, why is he calling Mysterious old man? Like, I don't think he's... That's a weird thing to say to a Minotaur. Okie dokie, here he comes. Beautiful! Champions of Elysium vanquished! Hope you enjoyed the show out in the stands. Without needing to use a death defiance. I am really happy with how that went. That was awesome. Go tend to the Seder problem for change. Yeah, yeah, I'll tend to the Seder problem. Okay. Now, we are going to go with the evergreen acorn since I already have three death defiances. Typically, I would go with the uh, lucky tooth from Skelly in order to get one extra use of death defiance, but I'm feeling frisky. Okay, um, let's go for the Athena boon first. Hey. Don't do that. Easy. Having attacks that spread or attacks that push enemies, such as the Zeus lightning boons passing along or the Poseidon boons pushing them around, is such a good combo in these small rooms. Like, I can just melt motherfuckers. So satisfying. I know I'm not going to get the Seder Sack, because this is only the first tunnel I've entered. But here is our challenge room, in order to receive that Athena boom as our reward. Try Seder. He tried to shoot me with one of his poison darts. Oh, jeez. That one got me. Okay. Use that antidote again. I haven't used my, uh, my companion in a while. And then we're going to resist 10% damage from foe's attacks with the Athena boon. Got to keep searching. Our build is coming together nicely. Let's catch ourselves a little skill of Scion as a uh, form of relaxation for our boy Swagrius. That's a fight. Fucking gup. Alright, my strat is always to pick one with a skull on it after one without a skull on it because... A lot of times, they'll give me the Seder Sack after making me think that it's going to be a mini-boss room. Nice little sum of gold there in those pots that I just got destroyed. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's heal up a little bit. Seder sack, come on, give it to me, baby. Yeah! Let's go! Tower of Olympus. 
That's delightful. Let's uh let's increase the damage resistance up to 13.6%. Drink our healing fountain and head back to the hub of the Temple of Sticks. Um maybe I'll get breaching cross. Yeah, baby! Breaching cross! Let's go! Eat that shit, Satyr Sack boy, Cerberus. I can go. Okay, let's see if I can beat Extreme Measures Hades for the first time. On a heat level that I've beaten before, just a specific modifier I've never been able to overcome. Extreme Measures permitted even still? Wasn't an oversight. You're strong, father. I want to be as strong and more. You wish to test yourself against the full yep. extent of my wrath, then very well. Let's do it. Let's do it, Hades. I'm pretty sure you have a third health bar, but I haven't experienced that for myself because your minions are so goddamn powerful on this form. Oh! -ho -ho! I don't have tight deadline on, so I can do whatever I want. In terms of speed and strategy. I've already resisted damage twice though. I've already uh, used two of my five damage resistances. Bro. <laughs> well, there goes my damage resistance. That sucks, dude. Okay, I almost have my greater call, which would be nice. Using Athena so that I don't get hit by his spin attack there. And I'm going crazy while I can, while I'm invincible. Oh, I shouldn't have gone for my special. I thought I could get the special off and still do a little dash time nicely with his, uh, with his spin attack, but it didn't work out that way. These little minions should not be allowed to teleport. I don't like that. <laughs> Get out of here, butterfly ball. Get out of here! Oh, jeez. Can't use my summon. I only get it once per encounter. Okay, let's get through this first health bar before I use my greater call again. It's okay. Still have two more death defiances. Not the end of the world. Okay, first health bar complete. Grab these bad boys back. Dodge his ring. Baby, trying to do as much damage as possible without taking any myself, which is easy while I have Athena's Greater Call in uh, in use. Oh, it's all right. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay.
Gotta take my time. It's hard to remember that on this game, because this is a game where I typically play pretty quick. You brought this on yourself. But without tight deadline on, I need to uh, utilize any advantage I can get. The reason I typically play so fast is because tight deadline was the first heat modifier I ever used. What are you doing, Hades? What? Yo, what? This motherfucker gets Cerberus? I want Cerberus? I really want to use Cerberus on my side. That would be sick. Alright, Hades, you need to fucking chill, bro. Oh my god. That attack catches me so off guard. I never expect him to throw the spear because he doesn't do that without the extreme measures. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm gonna need to conquer this fella on some he lower heat levels like this a few times before I feel comfortable doing it on 32. You wish. Oh no. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a third health bar. Dad, I'm sorry. I can still fight. Are you serious? Oh, great. And now I have to deal with the fucking darkness. I can't see shit. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, Hades. <laughs> oh. I'm empty. I have my greater call. Athena, you're under my With three HP, dude. <laughs> Come on. Why is he healing, bro? He heals? Ah, that's that's nonsense, bro. Ah, that's unfortunate, but that is my best attempt at extreme measures, Hades, so far. I made it to the third phase, so that's a win in my book, dude. But thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out. Uh, and I will see you guys very soon for the next run. Have a great rest of your day and don't forget to talk kindly to yourself.